Welcome back to Unfold Data Science, friends. This is Aman here, and I'm a data scientist. In this particular video, I'm going to walk you through the practical implementation of market basket analysis in Python. So this particular algorithm is basically used for recommendation in retail scenario. So what I mean by that is any retail scenario, be it online or offline, if we have to do some cross sale, upsell, or recommend someone something, then this particular algorithm is useful. For example, if someone is buying a chips packet, then from the historical transaction, we know that people who buy chips packet are likely to buy a mayonnaise or sauce or those kind of stuff. So maybe somebody who, bu who buys a chips packet, we can recommend them a mayonnaise or sauce or things like that. So how to implement that particular thing in Python? Let's see here step by step. Okay. So in the very first block, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to import some of the packages that I will need. These packages are NumPy, Pandas, and two important packages here are mlextend.frequentpatterns. So this is one package if you do not have in your Python right now, you need to install this, okay? So I'm importing a priori from this particular package, and other package which I'm importing is association rules from mlextend.frequentpatterns. So this is another package that you need to install in Anaconda, if you do not have this package with you okay so this is the package we will use in this analysis or in this implementation okay moving forward what i'm doing in next step is i'm reading a file from this particular location so what is this location is there is an excel file in this location if you go to this particular url in this url i have a online retail data okay that particular retail data that particular transaction data I am reading using pd dot read underscore excel okay and I am calling that data frame as my retail data so I have knowingly commented this line because it will take some time to read now I have already read this data and if I run this as you can see this is how this data looks like okay so this data is basically a online retail data where we have an invoice number we have the stock code we have the description of the product we have the quantity we have the date of the invoice, unit price, customer ID, and country. So this is how this online retail data is looking like. Now we will run an association analysis on this particular data. Okay, moving forward, I am doing some data preparation here. So very first thing I am doing here is I am just removing the space from the description column. As you can see, description column has you know some characters or some sentence kind of thing. So there is a possibility that there might be spaces here before the sentence and after the sentence so that is what i'm doing in this line i'm just removing this space okay so that only the product description is there i am also subsetting the invoice and i'm dropping all the na's from the invoice so if if there are any invoices where there is na if there are no invoice number then i'm removing those records okay and also what i'm doing here is i am just converting the invoice number to type string this is needed because when we run the analysis the algorithm understands the invoice number as a string data type okay in the next line what i'm doing here is i'm just removing the credit type of invoice so how do i know it's a credit type of invoices i just see a particular keyword or a particular alphabet c and then i come to know that that is a credit invoice and hence from my analysis for now i am removing those uh, credit transactions or credit invoices after doing all this cleaning data cleaning what i have is the clean data with me which looks like this okay from this clean data what i'm seeing here is what is the value count or what is the record count for different countries as you can see the last column here is country so i just want to see which country has how many records okay so united kingdom has highest then comes germany then comes france so the size of the data is too much. So let me check what is the size of the data here. So if I say my retail data dollar shape, it should give me the size of my data. Okay. So the size of my data is 532K, which means 532K records in my data. Out of those 532K records, as you can see when I run value counts, 487K is UK records only and rest are other countries. So what I'm doing in the next step is I'm just filtering the data on one country. 
if you can see here i am saying my retail data country is equal to germany so why i'm doing that is i do not want to run the analysis for all 550k transactions close to 550k transactions what i want to do is i want my analysis to run faster for demonstration purpose and hence i am running on country germany only okay so what i do here is i take all the transaction of germany then i group by on invoice number and description and i just take a sum of the quantity so what this entire code will do is it will give me a basket of transaction so how that basket of transaction will look like is this so this invoice number so from the main data from this uh, from the excel file that we have imported now i have a basket data i am calling that my basket so how that basket data looks like is it will have a invoice number as key and these are the name of the products 10 color space boy pen 10 colored party balloons all these things are name of the products so if the value here is zero that means that product was not not present in this invoice and if we have a positive number here for example 1 2 3 4 5 6 anything that means that product was a part of this invoice those many times as you can see here the sum is done on the quantity so i am saying group by on invoice number and description and sum on quantity so what we will see here all the records are not getting displayed if we export it to csv and see we will see some numbers here some values will be zero and some values will be numbers numbers means those particular products are part of that invoice okay and zero means this particular product is not the part of this invoice that is what i am doing i am just creating a basket of transactions okay moving on to the next step what i am doing here is i am just defining a small function which converts all zero all the numbers which are less than 0 to 0 and all the numbers which are greater than 1 to 1 so why i am doing that is i want this data frame or this data to become only 0 and 1 because that is what my algorithm expects as input okay so all these zeros will remain zero but there will be places where there will be numbers for example 1 2 3 4 5 so all those numbers will be converted to 1 why i am doing this is this is how the algorithm of association analysis expects the input data to be in the form of 0 and 1 okay so i run this function on this particular data or this particular basket so what i will have i will have all these zeros and ones in this data now okay and there is a postage column which is not needed postage you know item which is i think does not make much sense hence i am removing that postage column from the data from this my basket okay coming to training the model how do we train the model so now we have my basket sets which means my basket transactions after the above data conversion zero and one encoding conversion okay so what i am doing here is i am just running a proidy on my basket sets okay so where from a proidy is coming you see here a proidy i have imported from ml extend dot frequent patterns okay so what i am saying here is i am saying here a proidy my basket sets my basket sets is just now i have created minimum support is equal to 0.5 so in my last video i had explained what is lift support and confidence so that is what defines the goodness of your rule or the strength of your rule in association analysis okay so i am saying minimum support is equal to 0.07 which means consider the rules which has this much of support and use column names is equal to true that means use my column names as item names okay how do i generate rule from my frequent item set so what this will give is this will give me the frequent item sets okay means kind of transactions how do i generate rule from those transactions so i just say association rules where from association rules is coming from here ml extend dot frequent pattern association rules so i am just taking the association rules giving my frequent item set as input and saying take the metric as lift so out of support lift and confidence take the metric as lift and put the minimum threshold as 1 and then give me the rules okay once i run that this is how my rules will look like now this is important to understand guys in my last video i have explained you about support lift and confidence okay and i had told you there will be item a implies item b with a particular number of support lift and confidence and that is what you can see right here on the screen 
so plastic in tin woodland animal this is one product product a product a implies product b so what is product b product b is round snake box set of four woodland product a implies product b the support is 0.07 the confidence is 0.53 and lift is 2.2 okay and similarly product a to product b will have different different support lift and confidence for different different combination of products now how do we use these rules to make recommendation let us see here coming to rule number 5 so this is the rule table which you can see here coming to rule number 5 from the rule table so this is the rule table from my rules if we see rule number 5 the item a is round snake box set of four woodland okay so how many times this is occurring one one two times the item b is space for lunch box how many times this is occurring 47 times which means that people who are buying one one two times item a out of those only 47 times item b is being bought but the set of rules says that there is a good support lift and confidence for this combination which means that we can recommend item b which is space, space boy lunch box to someone who is buying round snake boxes set of four woodland okay so i'm repeating it again rules are giving us different rules so here i am printing different rules from the apriori algorithm out of those rules i consider one rule rule number 5 in this rule number 5 i see two items item a and item b i see how many times item a are present in the transaction one one two times how many times item b is present independently in the transaction 47 times but we see a good support lift and confidence number here for these two items which means that every time this product is bought we can recommend product b as well okay and that is how the recommendation can happen also we can also filter on what support lift and confidence we want our rules for example here i am saying give me the rules where lift is greater than 3 and give me the rules where confidence is greater than 0.3 so i am just limiting my rules to only two rules as of now so these two rules will have these two characteristics or these two filters similarly we can go on and compute more rules get more rules from the transaction so how many rules we will get it totally depends on what is the volume of transaction we are giving here so if you see here in germany we have only 9042 records which means 9042 invoices so out of those 9042 uh, records or you know transactions we are getting these many rules if we give more transactions we will get more rules and more strong rules so this is how using the transaction you can create rules and those rules you can use to make some recommendations based on support lift and confidence and this is one of the very basic and common recommendation process used in detail scenario known as association analysis or market basket analysis so i have kept this very simple knowingly so that you can grasp the concept there are other things also in the output for example leverage or conviction all these things are just interrelated to support lift and confidence you can just go ahead and learn about these things as well but more important things here are support lift and confidence and this is on what we put threshold and we give the recommendation okay so i hope this video is clear to you if you have any doubts let me know through comment how did you like the video let me know through likes and comments i'll put all my codes in my google drive make that public and paste the link of that uh, folder in the description of this video and all my videos coming forward so all the codes which i have done till now be it regression be it decision tree be it random forest all the codes i will put in a google drive make it public and paste the link in the description of the video okay so you can get all the codes from there so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you all in the next video. Till then, take care.